dry, breakout prone, redness prone, sensitive skin. Why every time not one plane has flown over? I don't know. Maybe that's just my I've had too much coffee brain. What? With da 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 da. Why not? Hi, I'm Mallory Brook, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today we are reviewing the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. So, a skin tint with sunscreen SPF 30. I recently did my top skin tint choices, like of all time, for my dry, breakout prone, redness prone, sensitive skin, and a few of you brought up the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint, and I was like, you know what? I got sent this in PR, why every time not one plane has flown over? Back to it. <laughs> So I got sent this in PR and I just have never tried it. I've never used it. I've never even opened it because I just, I didn't. And so today we're gonna try it out. I wanna see how long it lasts, what it looks like on my dry skin. And you know, it's a warm day. I have some work to do at the other house I'm working on. So we're gonna see how this works. Now skin tints are usually, you know, created and geared more towards like good skin days. You know, they're like coverage and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like we're in a world now where we have skin tints that Blur, perfect, so I hope that this gal does that for me. And you know, I was thinking too, I was going to not put this through the workout test that I do normally. Now, if you don't work out, just swap it out for in your mind with a hot summer day or you're hot in your car, whatever, just to see if something lasts. I like to put products through the test of heat, sweat, things like that, just because you never know what life throws at you. Or maybe you're what you like to wear makeup year round to the gym, whatever. I feel like high end products should be able to last. And I was thinking, you know, skin tints really aren't marketed as long wearing. And I was thinking, why not? They're sheer, they're lightweight, they have SPF. To me, that sounds like the perfect summer product. And if it's a perfect summer product, shouldn't it last in the heat? I don't know, maybe that's just my, I've had too much coffee brain. So let's go ahead and go over some of the facts. I'm sure you guys know about this skin tint. I'm not that familiar with it. Again, I've never tried it. So it is $42 and it has 0.54 ounces. That is not that much. Light coverage. What? You'd think if, if a skin tint was gonna pack a punch in uh, a half a fluid ounce for over $40, that they would make it a little more coverage and then you could share it out yourself. Anyway, light coverage, natural finish. They do sell the refill, so it's a little bit cheaper. I have the full one. Again, got sent this in PR. SPF 30, it has plant-derived squalene. So it helps with moisture, grapeseed, avocado, mandarin, jojoba, and olive oils. Sometimes jojoba oil and products can break me out. We'll see. All right. SPF 30 contains non-nano zinc. Hopefully that won't break me out. It comes with da 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 da. People like it, it's moisturizing, comfortable on the skin, yada, yada, yada. Oh, 95% of people said skin looks hydrated and healthier eight hours after application. So that's a little testament to the long wearing aspects of it. It doesn't say it's long wearing. I'm not even, do you shake it? I don't know. Okay, so I have the shade light medium. First of all, the packaging's really cool. It looks like a good on the go throw in your bag. I shouldn't put my finger on it. That's definitely gonna, you know, create a little bacteria. So it has a little roller ball. I'm assuming you roll this on your skin and apply with your fingers. And you guys, if you've seen my recent coverage product reviews, I'm getting braver and better about applying products with my fingers. It's not my favorite form of app or my favorite method of application, but sometimes, you know, products call for it. So what do I do? Do I? Twist, oh, push up, okay. All right, let's push this up. Ooh, I wonder, can you see the, there we go. All right. Um, Okay. All right. Oh, look, there's the product. <laughs> <laughs> a million years later. So I have the shade, did I already say this? Light medium. I am a little bit self tanned. So, oh, this is kind of nice. This roller ball. I mean, here's the thing. I am not a fan of applicators like this because I feel like there's a lot of bacteria on the skin and it's just kind of rolling around. I would prefer to put this on the back of my hand, but here we are. Okay, wow. Major, major, major smell of sunscreen. All right, feels pretty lightweight. 
Huh. Oh my god, it just smells like I'm putting sunscreen on my face, honestly. And that's definitely not enough to even spread around my face. I could see this product not lasting a long time. But I guess for convenience, it's kind of nice. Just wish there was more product in the actual packaging. It feels pretty like emollient and thick, you know? It feels like I'm putting like a really thick, almost like a mask on, like a night mask. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can build this coverage up. I'm just curious. Light medium looks a lot darker in the tube than it does on my skin. I think that the packaging is really like cool girl. I like that it's pretty understated. The rollerball thing is kind of weird, but it was kind of nice on my face. I feel like it kind of de-puffed. De All right. Very, very glowy. Wow, really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this into my skin with just a very lightly dampened beauty blender because we had some streaking with finger application, but it's really cool. The rollerball really lets you get into the nooks and the crannies of the face. Oh, wow. Oh, I gotta be honest. I didn't think I was gonna like this. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys caught that vibe. All right, I feel like the SPF, the scent of the SPF is definitely dissipating. Okay, I think of a finished application. Okay, so by the way, you will see up close shots in natural daylight here in a minute and then post-workout and then at the end of the night, I really hope that this is a product that is gonna last me all day because this is something, like I said, you could throw in your bag, especially on vacation and kind of either like touch up or hope lasts, you know? Does that make sense? Okay, so first impressions, it is extremely glowy. My skin is loving this glow. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like it got caked up in any dry areas. By the way, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, please like and subscribe. But I'm very dry in my T-zone in like the center of my face, pretty much everywhere where people have like oil control problems. I would love to have oily skin. Y'all are gonna look so young the rest of your lives. I have to just moisturize to save my life every day, but... Yeah, it's not picking up on any dryness. I read some reviews that the product pilled or something. I'm not having those issues. Again, no primer was applied. Again, I always say this on my reviews. If you're paying high-end prices, the coverage product itself should perform how it says it performs. You should not be paying that much to not have something perform the way it says and need like a $40 helper. Then you have an $80 skin tint. Girl, absolutely not. So. No primer. We're not gonna set this with uh, powder or anything. I'll just be setting my concealer. And ooh, we'll be back in just a minute when I have the rest of my makeup on and let this sit a little bit, but really not. Not bad. Ooh, I wish it came in like just a tube packaging. Maybe they will change it, huh? Anyway, okay, moving on. Why not? All right, we're back real quick because I realized that I have the Milk Sunshine Under Eye Tint in Brighton. So we're gonna try that and I haven't used it. It has the same like rollerball type applicator. I have the shade one, which seems correct. So let's give it a go. Actually, let's pull up the facts about her. I forgot to pick a concealer and put it in my basket for filming today. And so I went back there to choose and Lo and behold, surprise me of the century, we have this. All right, it is a light coverage concealer, but I've been loving the Huda Beauty Glowish Concealer lately, so I'm wondering if this would be comparable. This is $28 for 0.2 ounces. It has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, light coverage, finishes radiant, formulation liquid, it has vitamin C to help brighten and firm, light reflecting powders that illuminate and brighten the under eye dark circles, which is hello, yes, and squalene and hyaluronic acid. All right, let's try it. Also, it's supposed to help with puffiness. All right, are we focused camera? Here is, girl, okay. Let's pump it out. Okay, here's the product. Whoa, so, so fun. That looks crazy. Oh, that feels nice. Okay, I can see where this is deep puffing. Not a big fan of the packaging, again, just for, you know, bacteria sake and you're like layering face products and things like that, but hey, you know, I am gonna use a damp sponge and see how this does. So it has a radiant finish and all of that. Oh, okay, that brightened. I'm gonna have to try this on my no foundation days, which I have my no foundation routine up already and there is literally no foundation. One concealer just to brighten my under eyes. It's a true no foundation makeup tutorial routine. 
I feel like I need a little more over here. You could get carried away with this little roller ball. It feels really nice, especially with allergy season right now. Oh girl. Okay, I like this concealer. Oh my God. I get you guys, like these have been sitting around for months and I'm so glad that I realized I had them. Perfect time of year to try these. <laughs> I don't know, just ignore me. I haven't been feeling well. If you follow my members' vlogs, you know why. Anyway. Um, okay, so I'm back to applying the rest of my makeup. I just had to share with you guys. So far, I really like it. It looks very glowy and hydrated. I feel very glowy and hydrated, which is my favorite way to feel. That and caffeinated. All right, I'll be back. Why not? Okay, you guys, this is sat on my face for about an hour. I applied the rest of my makeup. I filmed another quick tutorial. So I have to say, and like I said, I only powdered the concealer and the powder that I used is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Luminous Perfecting Powder. I am still on the fence whether I like this setting powder or not. Just throwing it out there. Let me know if you've tried it and what your thoughts thoughts are. I much prefer the candle glow powder and I'm still not sure if they're replacing the candle glow with this. Anyway, so that's what I said on my face. The Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. Now I'm upset it sat in my PR area for so long because wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I feel like my skin looks perfected, hydrated, and all of this stuff. So I am so excited to see how long this wears. I have a hair tutorial to film that involves the Dyson Air Wrap. So that tutorial is either up or will be up soon. So we've got some heat involved and all of that stuff and to finish out the day, but let's zoom in. Also, I will link the tutorial for the eye look in the info below if it's up yet, but my face just looks healthy. It looks like skin. Wow. Okay. So have you guys tried this skin tint? I know I'm super late to the game, but I'm glad that I got my tickets and I have arrived. I really was not expecting to like this at all. I really thought it would pill on my dry skin and it didn't. I really am loving the way this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the next couple hours, check back in, show you what it looks like in natural daylight. Sometimes that can change the game, you know what I mean? Sometimes you're like, whoa, <laughs> I'm not inside anymore and this looks terrible, but I think it will look great. And the concealer I feel like is really beautiful. I do look very hydrated underneath my eyes here, which is kind of hard for me to achieve. So I'm a big fan of both. Let's see how they fare in the next few hours. One eternity. All right, it has been actually a few hours now. I am at my other house working on some things and here we are in direct sunlight. I, from what I can see and what I saw in the car, I'm really impressed. Uh, I believe it's four o'clock right now. So I've had the skin tint on all day long and I think it looks really good. So we're gonna test it out in the sun. I brought my mat and my two kettlebells. That's one, there's one right there. My two kettlebells to do leg day outside, see how it fares. It's probably like 75 out. So again, if you don't work out, replace it with a hot summer day, get the same result. Hopefully we will see it lasting as long as we would love it to. One eternity later. later. Okay, it is currently 5.20. I had about an hour and 20 minute workout in the heat. Oh, girl, what's that a bug? Other than it breaking up on my upper lip, which is pretty normal for me. Uh, it's where I sweat the most and I kind of dab my chin a little. It's not bad. I mean, for an hour and 20 minute workout in the direct sunlight, I feel like, oop, a dry spot I didn't notice. That's interesting. I didn't really sweat on my forehead and I didn't touch my forehead, but now that I've sweat, I definitely see the dryness. Okay. Well, let's let it sit for a second and see what it looks like when I go back to my other house to finish work. Why not? Okay, it is the end of the night. It is currently 8.40 p.m. and I have some thoughts. So, first of all, it's been a very long day and you know, I honestly normally don't keep my makeup on this long, but when I'm doing a foundation review, I wanna know. Like, you know, 
people go on vacation, business trips. There are times where you need your coverage products to last a very long time. And I've had my glasses on for the past hour or so because I took my contacts out. I have to say the Milk Sunshine Skin Tint and the Milk Sunshine Under Eye Tint I think will be staples of mine this summer because despite the dryness that I experienced between my eyebrows after working out, like in pure sunlight, okay? I, I feel like this looks beautiful. It performed beautifully and my mind is blown because I didn't think I would really like these two products just because of the packaging and kind of the, I don't know, just like the, you know, the packaging really and the marketing of like a sheer skin tint with SPF 30 and it's like like I said earlier in the video I'm really tired of skin tints really kind of fading on your face although my favorite ones that I did the video on they don't fade like they last and I need a product like this to last all day because it's honestly the product that I leaned to lean toward in the summer so let me know your thoughts let's zoom in it's the end of the night I gotta wash my makeup off my face just feels kind of very free and everything feels breathable. I cooked dinner after I got done with my workout. I did dishes, I did some laundry, I gave Helen a bath. It's been a whole night, you know what I mean? And I'm very happy with the results. Uh, don't let the color in the tube kind of, you know, freak you out because this is light medium and it is my perfect match. And currently I would say I'm an NC20. So I'm loving it. Let me know what you guys think. I hope this was helpful in your search for the perfect skin tint. I have a whole other video, which is a good guide, but if I would have tried this before, this definitely would have been included in that video, just so you guys know. I will have everything in the info box below, links and everything else that's on my face and yada, yada, yada. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube will know that you are liking my content and I will show up in your feed. And if you haven't already, subscribe. We would love to have you on this very positive, beautiful community that we have created over here on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am highly impressed because I did not, I really didn't think I was gonna like this. Oh my God, have you guys tried this? Please let me know. What the heck, it's really good. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Are you gonna try it? Have you tried it? What do you feel? What's your skin type? and all of that good stuff because leaving your skin type and the products you've tried and the products you actually ended up liking helps so many people, despite whether you have dry skin or not, like let us know, okay? All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. All right.